Welcome back to 20 Clinical Pearls in 20 Days. Today we're going to talk about how selenium supplementation does not improve T4 to T3 conversion. Now in the functional and nutritional medicine industry, it's a very popular topic if you see normal T4 and low T3 to give selenium. Why? Because the deionase enzymes that are responsible for that conversion are selenium dependent enzymes. However, the research does not bear that out. Here's the number of papers. Number one. 100, 200, or 300 micrograms of selenium did not improve total T4 to T3 ratio or free T4 to T3 ratio. Here's another one that says T3 ratio remain unchanged. Here's another one that selenium supplementation said that the T4 to T3 ratio also remained unchanged after selenium substitution. And then finally, this one says, while there was a slight change in the T3 to T4 ratio, it wasn't much different than a placebo. So then the question becomes why? It turns out that there's kind of a hierarchy of selenium dependent enzymes in the body and some will let go of selenium first in order to retain the other ones. Selenoproteins, first one to let selenium go. Glutathione peroxidase, they might let selenium go next. Deionase enzymes, the body retains selenium for the function of these, probably because it's kind of important to have adequate thyroid hormone levels, especially T3. So here's some examples of this. This study suggests that plasma T3 is well maintained because it switches to thyroidal production of T3 rather than extra thyroidal conversion in the presence of selenium deficiency. Deionases rank high in the hierarchy and says are not as affected by marginal selenium deficiency. This paper says that they're high on the hierarchy and that selenium status must be low in or very low in order to impact deionase enzymes. In over six generations of animals with selenium deficiency, they maintain proper thyroid function. And finally, the thyroid gland may be able to accumulate, retain, and recycle selenium efficiently even in the absence of selenoprotein. Selenium has to be really deficient in order to negatively impact deionase enzymes. In other words, we have no business giving selenium supplementation, we see normal T4 and low T3. Tomorrow, I will tell you why giving selenium might actually be causing something of epidemic proportions and it's not what you expect. If you like this kind of information, I do too. In fact, I love it, which is why I've made over 200 hours of evidence-based, clinically relevant, functional and nutritional medicine courses. If this interests you, head over to metabolicfitnesspro.com, check out our advanced mentorship program. I genuinely hope to see you there and God bless.